As the puck sent over to Ondik, Ondik with it, sending it across over to Gyaza. Gyaza fires and deflected. Looked like it was knocked up and in by Nick Van Allen, I believe. Great opportunity there for the Temple University Owls. Only a couple seconds into the power play. And Partridge's not too happy about this. You saw him. He just smoked his, uh, the puck out of the zone. I don't know if he got bumped in front, but he wasn't too pleased. And we talked about Gaza earlier. Now 14 goals on the season and 20 assists. And score one. I believe that was less than five seconds into the power play. And scoring right back. Number 19 for the Liberty Flames, Luke McFarlane. Talk about that for a quick answer. Not surprised at all. You could tell it was a wake-up call for the Flames. As they come down, Luke McFarlane, just such a heavy shot. And that's one you got to have back. Honestly, the goaltender directed that to his own net. Now with 17 goals on the season and 19 assists, McFarland is just a tremendous all-around player for the Flames. Flanders now on the counterattack leading the charge. Hounded by the defense over to Nash. Nash able to weave it right past the leg of Gowski. Two quick goals here from the Liberty Flames within the last two minutes. Nash, who's an outstanding player for the Flames, now has just as many goals as assists. He has 13 goals and 13 assists on the season. So really making his impact felt tonight. Did he get that through the five hole? It looked like he just split him and got it through the five hole. Just not enough to penetrate part of his ex excellent goaltending skills. Now we'll have five on four hockey as it's knocked up to Nash. Big opportunity for the Liberty Flames. Nash weaves, bobs, fires. Finds the back of the net against Joey Gowski, and that's a goal for the Liberty Flames. You know, I was just watching the, the head coach's reaction there for Temple, and I know that feeling and when just how did you not see that coming, and he didn't even look. He turned around as soon as the breakaway started, and Nash comes in, a nice little move, and just tucks that uh, five hole, and just like he was frozen there, he freezes the goaltender and slides it through the wickets. Now 14 goals on the season for Nash really making an impact for the Liberty Flames. Rebound by Doe. 30 the, seconds left here to go in five on three. If I'm the Flames right now, I'm shooting five hole, even though they just bury one top shelf. <laughs> Norwinski with a stellar rip. Able to fire it, just absolutely stunned Gautsky right there. I mean, don't blame him. Must have been hard to track a puck that's coming at you 110 miles an hour. Easy now, <laughs> easy. That was a beautiful shot. It's not going 110, but well placed. <laughs> Top shelf right underneath the bar. And Alex Norwinski capitalizing on the power play. And the Flames still with a PP for another minute 39. Great shot by Norwinski. That's now his 10th goal on the season. We've seen him get really physical here. He's done a great job on defense and an offense, creating opportunities with his size and his strength. It's Flanders, early shot, glove side high, able to find the back of the net. What a huge opportunity for these Liberty Flames coming out here. 15 seconds into the third period. Take a look at it right here. Flanders was racing along the edge right there after a beautifully placed pass. He's able to find that top corner and able to extend this Liberty lead by four goals. As the faceoff is won by the Liberty Flames, Richardson now feeds it to the middle, deflected by Wilkie, able to find the back of the net. Another goal for these Liberty Flames here early in the third period. Right off the faceoff, Wilkie was able to get himself in there and was able to help obstruct the view as we take another look at it here. I just love the simple play by Richardson. Get the puck on net. Wilkie, good Canadian boy, going to the front of the net, cash it in the rebound. Yeah, that's the, that's the kind of goals I love from Wilkie. You got enough guys on this team that try to snipe and go top shelf. You need guys that are willing to go to the dirty areas of the ice. Crilly. Dumping it down to Campbell. Campbell in the middle. Sorensen fires. Finding the back of the net. Looked like beautiful shot. Looked like that was a goal by number five, Charlie Wilkie. Take another look at it right here. Over to Sorensen. Sorensen feeds the middle, and Wilkie on the deflection, able to knock it into the goal. Great play there for the Liberty Flames. They're able to add another goal on to this impressive lead that they've got. Stopping, trying to feed it to the middle. Puck knocked around loose in front of the goal. No one's able to get control of it. Great opportunity there for the Temple Owls. Even better opportunity for the Liberty Flames. Nash now with a two-on-one. Sends it to the middle. Shot, fired, goal for McFlanders. 
That's his second goal of the game set up there by Peyton Nash. Another goal here for the Liberty Flames here in this third period. You can see there, look like Galski was just committing a little early, fell on the ground and just see the frustration on his face. It's Ross now with it in center ice, brings it over the side to Malin. Malin fires and another goal for the Liberty Flames. They are putting on an offensive clinic here in the third period. Yeah, I feel bad for the goaltender. It's just not your night, and we've all been there. And you take a look at it here, you can just tell he's fighting the puck tonight. And going down, open up the stick side, and the Flames have enough sharp shooters that they're going to make you pay. And, you know, I hate the feeling for him. It's, it's one you learn from, and you have those games, like I said, but it's, uh, it's not fun to watch. And it looks like they'll just let the time run out here, and Drew Crilly will bring it back into the far side corner. And that'll be it here today as the Liberty Flames come away with a victory by scoring nine to one. Definitely not the night for the Owls. However, they have an opportunity tomorrow to, to come back and, and play more aggressively on offense and defense. And definitely it's gonna, hopefully for them, be a more competitive game, but gotta give the Flames credit for playing the way that they did. Just an outstanding effort by them. And, like I said earlier, really enjoyed how Partridge moved around in the crease. And hopefully for the Owls, they'll be able to get their offense going. And the Liberty Flames will come away with a victory here. Charlie Wilkie, Peyton Nash, and Luke McFarland all with a pair of goals here tonight. Also joined by Flanders, Norwinski, and Malin with another. And the Temple Owls for themselves. Nick Van Allen was able to net another goal. Adam Partridge had himself a night. Joey Galski struggled, but it'll be interesting as these two teams will come back again tomorrow. My name is Dylan Ureno, joined by James Black and Rhett McGibbon, saying so long, good night, and God bless. <laughs>